Good morning, everyone. My name is Sarah Carlisle. I have a shop full of Heise glassware, and today's segment is called Heise Half Price Thursday. What I do is I take items from the shop and things that we find in the past week, put it on the table, and sell it for one half of the price that's on the tag. If you see anything you're interested in, I can combine multiple weeks of items into one box and then ship it out once it's finally full. So if you're ready, I'm going to give you my email address. It is S A J A C A R L 26 at gmail.com. You can email me and I will respond with my phone number if you'd like it. So if you're ready, let's get started. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Half Price Thursday. Give you a quick little preview of what's on the table this morning. I have a few more books this week. And if you see anything you're interested in, you can call, text, or email. Just remember that calls and texts do come in quicker than emails do. You can either contact me or you can contact Sarah. Sarah will have the update information on what's available and what's not, but I can pass that information on to her, whatever you want. So I'm going to give three little shows we're going to put a plug in for. First, we have the Fostoria Convention Show, June 7th, 8th, and 9th. You can get in there a Friday night preview for $10 per person. It's a great show. It's always sold out of dealers. Next, we have a high Z glass show in Newark, Ohio. And the dates on that are Friday, June 14th, Saturday, June 15th. Friday, it's 12 to 6. Saturday, it's 10 to 2. And it is free admission. Everyone is welcome at this show. And the last show, two weeks after the high Z show, we're going to have the Cambridge Convention. It starts on a Friday night. June 28th and 29th, everybody can get in. You don't have to register or anything. You can get in for $5 per person on Friday night. And then you can see the information for the glass dash there on Saturday morning. If you have any questions, you can contact the Cambridge Museum for more information. So if you're ready, Sarah, let's get going. What we got? First item today is a fruit basket. It has a nice rose cutting on it. The handle has been cut. It's cut on the bottom and it has a large diamond H in the middle. Has a little bit of wear on the inside. What's the price? $40. Are you waiting on me? <laughs> okay, you're waiting on me. Well, I forget what, the, what's the name of this? It's a droop vase. It's a droop vase made in the 1950s. Looks like it's $40 for, the, and it's marked there in the center of the bottom. Flat panel creamer and sugar with the lid. Kramer's in good shape. The bottom of the sugar bowl where her thumb is, it's got a little nick there on the bottom. What's the price? $20 for the set. $20 all three pieces. Here we have a Bretterhoff book. You can see this one's been used. We have others. Hey, if you want another one, you don't want this one. We'll sell you, we're going to sell you the good ones of these for, we'll put a price on with $20 a piece. This one here is a little bit tattered and torn. If you want this one for $10, which would be $5 half the discount, that's fine. And hey, this is half price Thursday. When we give you a price, you're going to get it for just half of that. What we got? Flamingo oak leaf candle holders. The oak leaf is frosted. There bases, you go. Bases do match. It's $45 for the pair. The reason she saw those bases match, if something's had a repair on the foot, they'll grind down that foot and they'll be different sizes. All right, here we have one of those colonial toothpick holders. I think it has eight or ten panels. It's a hard one to find. It's got right there at her finger. There's a little bitty bruise right there, but hey, this is a tough one, folks. $35. Plain band toothpick holder. Good condition. $25. Panel cane toothpick holder right there by her thumb. There's a little bitty nick right there. The price on it is $18. Was that the price on that, $18? Mm -hmm. All right. Jack Bean Nimble Toy Candle Holders. $10 for the pair. For the pair. Here we have some Priscilla. These are butter pats or $20 a piece, and they do have wear, and they do have cloud on them. You can take one or all four of them. Dawn Leaf Jelly does have crazing in it. $10. Yeah, you don't see crazy in Heisey very often, but you see it in that piece. Hey, here we have a Dimitas cup, and it is... Old Colony Etch on it. Thank you. <laughs> Has a crack right here. Has a crack in there. How and much it, is it, Sarah? It's free. It's free. How about that? What you have to do is tell us you want it, and we'll put it in your box for you. Horseradish jar. The lid does have some nicks here on the bottom of it. The bottom's in good condition. $30. About all those lids have some nicks on it. Here we have a, I think it's a 301 candelabra base. 
It is $4. Look inside there. The ferrule's missing, but it's got that plug sitting up there where you can put a ferrule in it. Hey, if you got a base, this will be just fine if you need to replace it. A pair of Trident candle holders. They have a nice little cutting there on the base, and the price is $20 for the pair. A pair of Waverly three light candle holders. The pair is $45. They're both marked right here in the bottom with the large diamond H. And we have an Epernet rose. I'm sorry, it's not rose. It's Waverly. Marked on the center of the bottom. It's $15. Right there is a mark. And we only have one available. Prison Band decanter, flamingo. And this is a nice flamingo color in this one. Perfectly clean on the inside. If you look at the top of that, the stopper's in good shape. Look at the very top of the stopper. These usually come to a point and try to get it in focus here. And that one there, they've cut little panels around right on the top of it. Probably was nicked at one time on the very, oh, look there, little nick there on the side. Doesn't hurt it at all. Turn it around the back side, as I say on eBay, and put it in the cupboard and you'll never notice it. It's $150. Spooner. What pattern do we say that was? We don't know what pattern it is. It's a colonial pattern. It's marked in the middle, bottom. It's got a lot of wear on it. It's $15. I know this pattern. Can I take it? Yep. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's a locket on a chain cruet. It's got the original stopper in it. The stopper has not been ground. However, the cruet has not been ground inside it either. So it goes real well together, and the price on that is $75. 20th century tumbler, or soda. $8. And it's in crystal. Usually you see these in all kinds of colors, but hey, here's a crystal one, folks. Itty bitty nick right there. Little bitty nick right there on the side. Speaking of itty bitty nicks, here's a ring neck pheasant. Show them that little bitty nick on there someplace there. Bruise. A little bitty bruise right there at the end of her finger uh, or thumbnail. And the price? $25. $25. Peerless butter. Lids in great condition. The bottom of the butter has lots of wear. But no damage on it, $25. That wears just character, folks. Sunburst, punch cup, how many available? We have three available. Is it sun colored or just look they like? all three have sun color. All three have a little bit of sun color to them. $10 for all three of them. Next, we have two Stan Hope cocktails. They are the blown, the blown uh -huh. stems. They have J... So, something, something in, in the D. middle and then a D. So JD, $10 JD. for both of them. $10 for both of them. What a bargain. Narrow, flute, footed, nut cup. And it's hard to see, but this one has a little, yeah, there you go. Has a little, nice little cutting going all the way around the top of it. It's $15. Octagon, crystal nut cups. Two available, $8 each. Waverly, large, floral bowl. Orchid etching on it. Measures almost 11 inches across. Price? $30. $30. Isn't this lovely, folks? Here we have a crystallite covered candy dish on the outside bottom of the, of the bottom. It does have a little extra glass, so it sticks up. If there was a chip, it would go down. It sticks up a little bit. And this is a rosette. This is a row. I'm sorry. This is a candle holder that they made for that little finial on top by drilling a hole through it. $30. We have two Heisey animal books. The first one is book number one. It's the blue one. And the second one is the red one. And they're five, $10 each. $10 each. Whirlpool Platter, I believe it's 13 inches across, is slight, has some slight wear on it, marked in the center, $12.50. Narrow Flute Pitcher, underneath the handle right here, there is a flake, some roughness on the ribs, it's $15. $15. And then to go with that pitcher, we have four tumblers. We got these all together. Evidently, they use a pitcher. They didn't use the tumblers. These tumblers are almost like brand new, and they're $10 a piece. You can take one or all four of them. Four available. We have a syrup marked on each side of the spout. spout. Uh -huh. <laughs> Has a nice, cute little cutting on it with the flower and the leaves. Applied and, handle, and it's $35. And the applied handle doesn't have uh, any fracture in it at all. And it's got a good little dripper on top. 
fern. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. It looks like it's a little cheese plate with the handle, with the end turned up to make a handle. I think that's Belvedere etching on it, $20. Rabbit paperweight. There is an itty bitty, there's a couple itty bitty nicks right here on the base. And it's $35. Rabbit's in good shape. The base is a little nicked. Now we have two of these. I don't know what they are. They're Oh, I do. I know the pattern. They're fancy loop. The one on the right, turn it sideways. It has, it has sideways. Yeah, they're excellent gold. The one on the right, the other one has worn gold on it. Therefore, the price is a little bit different. How much is the price? 35 for the great gold and 25 for the worn gold. Speaking of worn gold, here we have a pineapple and fan tumbler. You turn it to one side and the gold's almost like brand new. Turn it to the other side and hey, the gold's pretty well worn off. $20. Athena two light candle holder. We just have one. It's a single, twenty dollars. And these were made for the Montgomery Ward Company, and this is also called Reverse F. If you look right here in the middle, you'll see an S, and you'll see another S. Two more books. These are the Yakely books. The one in Sarah's left hand is her first book. It's called Book Number One. It came out about 1969 or 1970. Lots of pages. Everything's in color in the book. And then about 1978, they came out with the second book. And hey, it's just a nice little color book. And these are $20 a piece. And all these books are used, so they do have some wear on them. Orchid, low-footed water goblet. We have 12 available, and they're $12.50 each. Six dollars and a quarter a piece, folks. What a bargain. Zodiac covered candy by Imperial. How do you know it's by Imperial? Just by a quick look. How do you know? You're asking me. Yeah, I'm asking you. <laughs> by the foot. Yeah, if you look at the foot on these, when Heise made them, that foot was round and perfectly plain. When Imperial started reproducing these, they took the foot, they added the pattern to the foot. And then they made it several different, uh, made it, I think, six-sided. So if you see one of those out and it's got a pattern on the foot, you know right off it's Imperial. The lids, you can't tell them apart. So if you have a real high one you need a lid, you need to buy this one just for the lid. It's $35. Pair of Warwick Horn of Plenty 9-inch vases. They're priced individually, and it's $40 each. Both marked, in good shape. Marked on the bottom. Empress Dolphin Footed Ice Bucket with the bale. Excellent color on this. No damage. No wear. $165. Rose Goblet with rose etching. 12 available and they're $15 each. $7 and a half at the discount, folks. We're practically giving it away. Here's a Rose Footed Jelly with rose etch. $20. You're on a roll, Sarah. Keep on going. Waverly Candy and Lid with rose etch on it. $45. We have a pair of rose salt and pepper shakers with nice lids. $45. Clean on the inside. And the last piece of rose is we have a little mint, dolphin footed. And the mint is $15. Pineapple and fan, emerald green, handled mug, gold on it, gold's fair on it, $30. Pineapple and fan. Now, this little saucer, this little plate you see, sometimes has a punch cup on it. So, I think it's really a punch cup plate. <laughs> okay. Sarah made a little fall there. So, anyway, she's back. It's five inches wide. Sometimes you see a custard cup sitting on this. And on the base, there's a little nick right there on the base. Therefore, what's your price? $12.50. A duck ashtray, $65. There is one spot right here that we believe has been repaired. It's not noticeable at all, but uh, we look big. these things over pretty close and we think someone's touched that with a wheel. Here's a piece that hasn't been repaired, but needs to be repaired. It's a Coronor Zircon cigarette jar, uh, ashtray. Find that point on there, Sarah. Right there, the point right there, it's got a little nick right on that point. Therefore, it is $30. That concludes our video for today. If you see anything you like, please contact us and we'll see you. Hey, we're going to have a new additions next week. 
Sarah's rolling her eyes, folks, but hey, that means we're going to have a new additions video next Monday where we're going to be putting on some really great pieces we found in the last month. So hope you join in then. If you don't, we'll see you in a week from now for another edition of Half Race Thursday. Thank you very much and goodbye.